is up everybody welcome to another weekly drawing retrospective where I talk uh, a bunch of nonsense while uh, time lapses of the drawings I did during the week go by <coughs> so these uh, drawings are still uh, one week behind so these are not the ones that I did this week but the week before this one and this was the week after I had uh, that little cold I talked about in a previous uh, video and uh, started off the week with drawing uh, another character uh, from one of the comics uh, it's uh, the one uh, with the, the detective guy I did in the first video actually uh, there is a sketch of him DA gallery. So, uh, yeah, that I don't really want to give too much details uh, about it. She's, uh, you know, just a little cutesy pie in a little French maid outfit. Uh, she's mostly gonna be a damsel in distress, pretty simple, you know, in terms of, uh, you know what she would be as a character uh, she basically appears only in one story so uh, she might have a change of character uh, as time goes by and I might make you know a sequel or something we'll see but for the initial plot which is basically pretty old because I, I did this the, the comic I'm doing this character for I did it a few years back, I started it, but then I decided to scrap the idea, sort of, and I decided, okay, I'm not going to do a remake in the future, I'm not going to bother continuing it with the format I was going with. So, yeah, uh, here I'm uh, struggling a little bit with the outlines, because they hadn't filled completely, I haven't uh, closed every shape with a thicker line and I'm putting down colors she has a pretty simple color palette uh, I think I kept the lighter skin tone and pretty much went with the uh, black and grays and a little bit of blue very very light blue it's almost white for the rest of the outfit and uh, she was initially she initially had shorter hair but I said well let's let's you know go all out and make her you know uh, blonde long hair so you know nothing nothing too specific to say about it and nothing too much to say about it I don't really want to spoil things and things are still in the works and I want to you know give stuff away that's not gonna be there at the end maybe yeah I'm starting off uh, another character I did for uh, a story that's in the works this one as well pretty much all the stuff I do it's still in the works hopefully I can get something out one day uh, I this week I did work on a, a lot more on the War Babes comic I'm trying to concentrate more on but uh, back to what I'm doing on the screen uh, this is a uh, character she's a, a, a police uh, girl of the main characters from uh, more of a uh, sort of police oriented story it has a bunch of super powered cops in it she doesn't have any superpowers just a few like the, it's like just a few super powered cops that like uh, they're like the main uh, main focus they're like the main asset of the police force so to speak and they protect the city, it's pretty basic standard stuff in here I was kind of struggling to find a pose uh, with it, you know but eventually I did uh, manage to, to do it it's, it's pretty hard when you kind of have an idea in your head in the beginning it, it doesn't really work and you gotta improvise a lot and you basically gotta sculpt the entire thing as you go and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it, uh, when it doesn't 
when you try a bunch of stuff it doesn't work it really demoralizes you but you gotta push through and yeah here I'm, I'm adding a few darker spots for the darker areas uh, of the outfit she's pretty basic uh, in terms of colors pretty much darker blues and lighter blues and blacks and uh, some uh, uh, yellow here and there for uh, the different uh, badges and uh, insignias and whatever she has a uh, you know, very very dark hair and uh, try to give her a pardon me more of a Japanese kind of look the whole thing the main inspiration for her was uh, Motoko Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell but it tried to stay away a bit so I don't like you know do a copy of the character and at the end you know even her personality is a lot different her role in the story is a lot different and yeah moving on I think this was about like Wednesday or something uh, I remember doing this drawing I think when I got home <coughs> and I didn't really know what to do with it and I basically ended up drawing like a uh, random character uh, just for the just for the fun of it and uh, yeah she she's gonna turn out to be uh, a station master a uh, more of a Eastern European station master uh, you know did the initial sketch cleaned up a little bit and it's the you know the usual uh, the uh, outlines closed everything up put a basic uh, color in and then just work on from there ended up doing a little bit of a background here as well at the end you'll see uh, wanted to do the uniform pretty simple keep it you know uh, only with blues uh, do a little bit of shining as well um, yeah, as I get here to that part that's pretty funny it's, it's nice to do a drawing that's not related to anything because it makes you kind of break away from, from the monotony of working on the same thing over and over and over like on a, on a, on a story like I am right now on a comic or different comics at the same time and eventually you know you get bored uh, yeah so uh, here I move on to another character and this is basically another uh, this this is a bad guy one of the bad guys from one of the stories that I uh, only have a little draft of so I'm not gonna spoil anything about it um, I'm gonna offer details as time progresses <coughs> I didn't. I I had the idea in my mind of what he would be, but I didn't really. I would say put it on 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 paper or on canvas or whatever. So so well. So I ended up making a very very light draft of him. He's pretty much a, a, a an evil motherfucker, and uh, I wanted him to be very malefic. And to have a very slick look, he's very slim, and he has you know, the, the big long coat and a big ass sword that he carries with him. Uh, for colors again, you'll see I keep pretty simple, and uh, I tried to add as much detail as I, as I could, and you know, didn't really disturb that uh, that slickness. Of course, the, the belt uh, and it, over there you saw me. I wanted to add maybe like a little cape. A little, little, but I wanted to add a pretty big cape, but man, it's like a screwed idea. It would have made them a bit too pompous, and uh, I don't think it would have worked out that well. So yeah, here I'm adding uh, some details with the colors and putting uh, the final tones in and. Uh, it's gonna be pretty much it. I think I did add some add some shading or no, no I didn't. So yeah, moving on 
think that was the last drawing I did for that day. I think it was uh, still Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday night. And I think now we're moving to Thursday in the afternoon. And I had an idea to do with this drawing. Make it uh, like a composition. I made uh, this uh, uh, character here in a uh, pretty... I wouldn't say too dramatic of a pose, but uh, it would have been like a scene where she would have, you know, just assassinated a bunch of people and they would have been all on the floor by the side, you know, I was getting tired and uh, it ended up just the character by itself as a sketch and that was it. And uh, kind of lost, kind of, well, you know, kind of lost uh, connection with the idea. So, yeah, as I move on, I kind of want to give her a uh, interesting outfit. Didn't really work out too well, you know, just a simple sh sh short uh, dress with a little bit of uh, a bunch of stuff stuck to, to it to make it a bit more futuristic and all. And uh, this is about to get to an end, this little sketch, I think. And let's see what I did next after, uh, after this. So yeah, I had one idea for the hair and I decided to scrap that. But uh, much sleeker hair, not so wild of a hairdo. Okay, I think this is uh, this is Thursday. I don't really remember exactly. And this was uh, oh yeah, I uh, got back on working on War Babes. And these are the bunch of uh, of trooper guys I did. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch I'm starting to go off with one and I was looking for reference a lot for these because I didn't really have like a super clear idea of what they're gonna be so uh, these are a bunch of troopers for uh, one of the bad guys in the war babes comics and i'm trying to put a lot of information here and there because these guys are going to be shown in another story which is basically happening before this one so it's you know trying to keep them um, pretty, uh, how would I put it, you know, chronologically consistent, like they don't have <coughs> two lessons, I, I gotta think ahead a lot, so I gotta put the best of what I can uh, before I do that story, because, and you know, taking into account that, okay, I'm gonna improve with time, so I might do things differently. So it's pretty, pretty darn hard. So here, here I'm, I'm working on a few variations on the masks. Basically, when I started off with one idea and decided to go on and make some uh, gas um, masks, looking masks, uh, that also resemble a bit of a cranium. Because I did say that kind of the theme for War Babes is a lot of these, you know, craniums that are either helmets or, you know, the, the heads of the characters themselves are actual creams. And uh, here I actually kind of break off from characters and I start to do a little bit of uh, a few vehicles. I had this in mind for some times. They were a nice little break, but they were a little forced as a break because uh, I was a little bit mm, not inspired when I did them so I ended up drawing a bunch of street cars uh, they're basically how can I put it uh, uh, they're gonna be props or vehicles are gonna appear in another story but you know they're just there for uh, to make you know the the location a bit more believable 
and I'm, I'm, I ended up doing a few and in the end I think I did like a bus or something and uh, tried a few different angles to make him and uh, some alterations to the to the model I was making because I, I, I even have a 3D model of this that I did uh, a while back and I was trying to you know do these sketches from like memory So yeah, here I end up uh, making a, pardon me, a bigger uh, drawing that uh, shows the vehicle uh, much better. <coughs> but all in all, uh, it's nothing too super special. Uh, what I need for, what I wanted for these vehicles is like to have like uh, sort of a 60s you know type of type of look in the city where I live there's a lot of uh, old uh, they're still in use uh, a lot of old uh, German streetcars and uh, pretty nice you know it's, it's pretty nice I really like the designs of the, 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 the late 60s and the technical aspect of things of how they uh, use uh, different technologies and combine them to you know achieve a certain uh, a certain objective they wanted to achieve and you know solve problems and here for the bus I uh, took a lot of inspiration and this is again I know, another model that I think I do have a 3d of it I don't really remember <coughs> kind of got inspired with this one trying to make a little bit of a mashup of a fishbowl from uh, the United States and uh, this was I think the, yeah this was the last sketch of the week I tried to draw one of my characters Francine in her superhero outfit uh, standing on a building edge in the city at night but uh, I had the idea to you know make it like a finished composition make it all you know cool but eventually end up uh, yeah, just a sketch and uh, yeah didn't really bother to continue with it I decided to you know flesh it out as much just to get a, an idea and feel of uh, the surroundings maybe a little bit and I used to do these comp compositions in the past so I kind of wanted to do this just to remember how I actually put stuff here and there because <coughs> the initial goal of the sketch was you know draw her so I can see what I how, how, how can I flesh out the superhero outfit but eventually you know ended up not doing that because it was like the last day and I said okay just let's do a drawing for fun and whatnot <coughs> and with the sketch we are getting pretty close to the end of the video and uh, yeah nothing much to say about this I was still thinking of maybe okay maybe I'm gonna continue maybe not but then you know I put those two white circles that are basically moons and ended up uh, ending it so yeah thanks for watching and bye bye